Hello, Astonex here, and welcome back for a new video. As you guys can tell from the title, it's probably not going to be one of those super cheery videos, but it's something that needs to be talked about and something that I want to talk about, and that's harassment and bullying online, especially in video games. So, talking about that, my last two videos, by the way, and my last stream got dislike about it, so... I mean, it doesn't have anything to do with that, but it's just kind of a coincidence that it happens while I'm preparing a video like that. Now, I've never really been harassed online, but I mean, I've probably been assaulted a couple of times here and there because I'm bad at games in general, but I've never really had any experience so bad that I'm still remembering right now. So you guys might be wondering, why am I making this video then? Well, it's not about me. I'm in multiple Overwatch Facebook groups, and one of them dedicated to, like, women in Overwatch, so, like, girls in general. And I saw this post by this girl who had been like harassed and bullied and it genuinely upset me. And I'm just gonna summarize the post because it was a really long post and I'm not gonna like read it all. So basically this girl was playing an objective based game mode in three rounds and in the first round she was just talking with the guys in the chat and they were just asking questions like where are you from and stuff like that. So it's like a chill conversation. And then in the second round, a guy asked her if she wanted to fuck him. And, you know, of course, she said no and told the guy that uh, he shouldn't talk to her like that, which, you know, normal reaction of a human being. And in the third round, all the guys in the lobby told her just suck a cock, which, you know, you don't say that to people. And so, of course, she said no and told them to stop. But then they started asking her if she was a little fat obese boy with a girl's voice, which resulted in them asking her if she had boobs. I mean, this girl went online to play a game of Overwatch after a stressful day and then this kind of shit happens? I'm just gonna let that sink in. Just like, remember the elements of the story, put yourself in that girl's place, how would that make you feel? If the answer is good, then click off this video, it's not for you, but probably it's not gonna make you feel good. In what world is this kind of behavior acceptable? We don't know how much what we say will affect people, that, that, okay. But in any case, that kind of comment is just unacceptable by any standards. It's sexist, insulting, even if it wasn't sexist, it still would not be acceptable. One of my friends on YouTube, I watch her channel all the time, her name's Panic Pixel, and she made an Overwatch video and I commented something on there and she replied to me telling me that, oh yeah, uh, she doesn't really play Uprising anymore, which is a game mode on Overwatch, because once she was there and because of her rank and she wasn't playing super well in the game, people started insulting her because she had that specific rank and wasn't as good as what people thought this rank should mean. And she just said in the comment, oh yeah, I'd rather not have that rank and not have people insult me. Like, people are making others not want a specific rank. This is absolutely ridiculous. And these two things happen in like the same day. And that's why it just like really upset me. And I thought I should say something. And this is not the end of the video. There is something that I think that we should all, we could all do. I can't understand there are assholes online and in real life. Like, that's okay. We, we can't do anything about that. But I refuse to believe that there are so many of them that the girl I talked about and Panic Pixel ended up with a team full of them. I do believe, though, that on the 25 million players of Overwatch, there are probably like 1-5% to of extremely vocal assholes, which, okay, makes a lot of people. 10% of people who have been heavily harassed by these assholes, and then like, you know, 80% of us who are just like the silent majority, basically. Which gets me to why I'm making this video. We can't ban assholes, we can't, you know, cut their cables off to get them off the internet, and even after that, they'd still be in real life, so, you know, problem not solved. And we probably can't reason with them either, because otherwise they wouldn't be assholes. But what we can do is stand up for what we think is right. What I want us to do is next time we see this sort of stuff, we stand up to the assholes and not leave whoever is being picked on alone. Because if a whole team, or at least, you know, three people in a team and then the other ones are just not saying anything, it does feel like the entire team is picking on that particular person. But if the three people weren't saying anything, they just were like, hey guys, shut the fuck up, that would make things a lot better. And I understand that if you're being picked on, replying definitely won't help, it will just make it worse. But if the rest of us just shuts down the bully, that might work. And then 
I'll collectively report the asshole to get him at least banned for a couple of days. Bullying people is usually a group thing, so if you take out the group aspect, you can be almost sure that the bully will just stop. I understand that it's easier most of the times to just stay out of it when stuff like that happens. But do you really want to be the person who saw someone getting bullied online and just didn't say a thing because it's easier to stay out of it? Well, if you do, get over yourself and grow some balls <laughs> to make the internet and games a less toxic place. I mean, real life is toxic enough. We don't need that. Games should be fun and bullying and harassment has nothing to do there. So. What I want you guys to remember from this is that even if we're not the ones being picked on, we can still do something about it and tell whoever's being a bully to shut the fuck up and go home. I don't know if you guys agree with me on what I'm saying. Maybe you guys are all partisans of let's not do anything and let people sort out their own shit. But I do believe, I firmly believe that we should stand up for what we think is right. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I really do want this message to spread, so if you could share the video, that would be great. If you guys want to re-upload it or make your own versions of it or reply to this video or anything like that, feel free to go ahead, take this video, chop it up, put it up in your videos, like anything you want to do, fine by me. I'll see you all in the next video.